Uh, what's up, yo? This your boy Sip Easy, and today I'm gonna be talking a little bit about Massive. I've been doing some sound designing in here, um, just making some um, what do you call them? Presets uh, in here, and uh, basically today I'm gonna go through this sound. I call it uh, Sip Easy OP One, and if you wanna um, make this sound, you can yourself. Here's how it sounds. I'm going to go on my keyboard and I'm going to uh, hit C, middle C. Yes, that's what you call that C since it's in the middle of the keyboard. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to hit a C up above that. I guess that's C4. Maybe kind of loud because I think it's by velocity right now. So be careful with this one. Um, then I'm going to hit C4. Hold on, C3, C4, C5. Now I'm going to hit C5. And then I'm going to work downward on the keyboard like this. I know you're familiar with this sound. That sound right there is like a lot of um club joints has that kind of sound that... <laughs> Something, you know what I'm saying? Just... Okay, so going into this sound, what I did, I'm not going to start over and remake it like I see a lot of people do. I'm just going to talk you through it. Um, so we have two oscillators or oscillators active. I said oscillators. Hey, that's like a, oh, a, a, a whip, a, a, a car that uh, got a synth in it. <laughs> okay, bro, Jam, thank you. Um, so on oscillator one, we took it down an octave. That's uh twelve semitones. Um, and then we modulated it with envelope four, which is a basic ADSR. When you get this, you can edit it to your liking you know what i'm saying if you want to drop the level or the sustain that's called level inside of massive so you know what i'm saying you have the a d s and then the r over here okay so i have this on gate you know what i'm saying and let's go into what matters so the sound on number one yeah, on the first oscillator, the weight table position is at about 3 o'clock. And I have the third macro control dragged on it, and it pulled all the way back. So it would modulate from a square to a saw if you wanted it to. I mean, from a saw to a square wave. Both of these would go all the way back to a square. So let's just show what that sounds like. This is the saw. And then it's modulated back towards the square. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty cool. All right. So um, next thing we did. Okay. So let's go down to the modulation oscillator now the way this works i'll give a brief explanation um over here on the right hand side you have oscillators and then you on down here you got choices of oscillators you could choose between the first oscillator the second oscillator or the third oscillator which is first oscillator second oscillator and third oscillator this ring modulation is going on the first oscillator and it's at about three o'clock too. I tend to like that three o'clock area. <laughs> so then in the pitch, I have it pushed up nine semitones. So you just push that up and just work my way down. I'm gonna just go around like this. This is not the way I created the sound, but this is how you could just get all of this information really fast. So turn the noise on and it's on white. 
noise. So uh, and I turned it up with um, the macro control one to about 12 o'clock and the same in the feedback. But I put the uh, second macro control on the feedback and turned it up to about uh, 12 o'clock. You can um, adjust these to your liking. The delay is in the microphone and not in the synth. No. <laughs> okay, so we have kind of thickens up the sound a, a tad bit. You know what I'm saying? And then I had another thing here. I was just showing how when you be inside of the routing table, sometimes this instrument insertion two, which is here, is in front of the filter selected. And you would have to come in and select it out after the filter if you want to use this. And just to give an example, I will put a frequency shifter and you know what while we got this here I'm just gonna add another macro control to number four and shift it up to about 11 o'clock and if you want to mess with this pitch it'll be number four now let's see how high we want it to go. That sounds about where we want it to go. So as that's going up, I'm going to make something else be modulated with number four as well. Not sure what yet. Let's just go through and, and find something to modulate. Okay, what can we do? Um, what is that doing? It's changing the pitch. Okay, so I will also make that turn number two completely off the oscillator. So then, when they're turning that pitch up, it'll go from two oscillators to one. <laughs> Something crazy, you know what I'm saying? It could be anything like that, but what I like to do is when I'm using a macro control, I like to use it on more than one thing at a time. So, I don't know, um, maybe as they're turning that pitch up, turns the residence up on this one. Or it can, oh, matter of fact, yeah, it could do that. And at the same time, it could bring the cutoff down. It's pretty cool stuff to try out, you know what I'm saying? But these are not um, a part of the patch. So if you put that, or this too. And you can get some pretty weird sounds out of this thing. So if it's muddy down at the bottom, you can take that knob and actually clear it up a little bit. So now, knowing what that is actually doing, let's see, what else could we do? I could take that FM, put it on number one, and then 
that on there. Okay, man, so I hope y'all got enough time to catch this. Uh, I'm just messing with it right now. We don't really need these on here. So um, I like my sound the way it was, so I'm going to take it back. Leave this here. That's optional, but it's off. So you know what I'm saying? When you do want that, it's up to you. But let's get it over with. The Dimension Expander is at about... One o'clock on the wet, and then the size is also pushed up a little bit after 12. And that's all that's done there. The phaser, the wet is pushed up until about one. The rate is brought down a little bit. The feedback is pushed up a tad bit. And then the EQ, I boosted it low. And down here, I took this uh, frequency out. If you want to hear it, I'll let you hear it. That's what that frequency adds. If you want that back, you can add that back. So that's on you. I boosted the highs. That's about it. Reef dart via gate. I went through the voicing. Three voices. Monophonic pitch on. A little bit detuned. Um, and that's this sound. If you like it. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Nah, I'm messing with y'all, but like, share, subscribe. Give me a comment in the bottom if you like my little massive uh video. And um I thank you for hanging out with me and giving me a moment of your time. Peace. Sip easy.